Welcome to Storylines and Theories. I'm L.R. Reactor and thank you for joining me down here at Studio B, which is, in other words, my basement. And it's pretty hot down here, so uh, I got my fan running. I'm hoping the sound doesn't echo too much or interfere with the interference, but if it does, I'm sorry. But it is extremely hot in Studio B. Trust me. So, this week on Storylines and Theories, we're going to talk about the Ewan's TV show coming out in a matter of uh, I think less than 60 days it'll be out uh, on ABC and we've seen the trailer already uh, came out before Comic Con and then an extended one a little bit after Comic Con and I believe the show is already in trouble before the first episode even hits now I'm excited I was excited to hear about this is gonna be an IMAX a TV show in IMAX the first two episodes Wow that means this is going to be fantastic. This is going to be great. And I'm a big Inhumans fan. You know, I like Inhumans like I like the X-Men and the other comics. I think they have a lot of interesting characters and make a lot of characters. They, they have the ability to make characters up too, like the X-Men, to say, oh, it's the Terrigen Mist gave them this power, that power. So it's it's a fun storyline and the whole history of the Kree creating the uh, Inhumans and then abandoning the project, which I don't know why they would abandon all these powerful beings but they did maybe you can do powerful who knows but the whole storyline is I think is great but when I saw the trailer I don't know about you guys and please leave send me an email at ready to react now at gmail.com contact me on Twitter or Facebook and tell me your thoughts I just thought it looked cheap very cheap it looked I mean you know the way ABC shoots their shows I don't like the way they shoot them the way the camera looks. You know, every station has a certain way they shoot shows with a different camera. NBC shows look different than CBS, and CBS shows look different than Fox, and Fox shows look different than uh, ABC. Um, and sci-fi looks different to everybody. I mean, sci-fi is a whole nother world. But I just never really, I don't like the way it looked. It looked like a B-class um, CW or TBS kind of show. I'm sorry to say that. I mean, I was watching it. I mean, I know they're trying to get the characters to the form, but it looked the whole landscape looked bad. The uh, so-called pictures of the city and the castle or where Black Bolt or the the throne room with Black Bolt. Everything looked really cheap. Medusa. Let's just go one by one. So Black Bolt himself. Okay, I'm. We want to see him with his costume on, and he may get that later on with his hood and everything. Um, he's basically wearing part of his costume, I guess, the leather outfit without the hood. Maybe they modify it somehow because he doesn't have the uh, the wing flaps that he usually has and the fork, the tuning fork, you know. Um, but okay, I can live with that because maybe they're building up to that. But Medusa, not impressed, and that's where I really saw the first flaw. If you don't have the money to do the CG for her hair all the time, then you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't do it because that's how she is in the comic book. Her hair is alive, flowing, always moving. It's almost like Spawn's cape. Just a minor of his own and then he can direct it, do what he wants. That's how her, do her hair is supposed to be. But it's pin straight. And then when they show it, you know, this, the activation of it, when she, I think there's one scene where she's grabbing Maximus or someone. It just looks so, I mean, it looks sci-fi. looks like it's from the sci-fi channel. Like that kind of CG technology. This is ABC. This is a major studio. This is Disney. And I just think that looked, it looked horrible. So that was one problem. Uh, the Black Bolt thing will let go until later on, until we see the whole thing. But even with the, even that one scene where Black Bolt was uh, Lockjaw. And Lockjaw is probably the one character I think looks pretty good. So I'm okay with Lockjaw. Um... I don't know if he has supposed to be as silly as he looks. He's more of a serious dog that's kind of lovable, but just stout looking. But anyway, that's neither here or there. I'm fine with Lockjaw. But when he transported Black Bolt from the moon to Earth real quick, you know, and then saw that scene where he was in the street and the cops grabbed him and somebody hit him. First of all, Black Bolt is very powerful. So that bat, that little baton wouldn't even, wouldn't have caused him even to hiccup let alone he wouldn't even felt it but like what is that an ant hitting me you know he wouldn't even felt it at all so that's one thing but the fact that he hit him 
If you have not read the comic books about the humans and Black Bolt, how powerful, we're not talking Black Canary, okay? We're talking about a primal scream. When he opens up any kind of sound from his mouth, it can not, not destroy, not, not cars over. That little breath that he did and he knocked a couple cars over in the streets. Uh-uh. That little breath right there will destroy a mountain. Okay? In the comic books. That's how powerful his voice is. So they dumbed down his powers quite a bit. When I saw that, I'm like, oh, if he, that little bit got out, he would took out the whole city block. Simple as that. But that didn't happen. So they're dumbing down his powers. Okay, so be it. Um, but getting back to the characters, um, you know, Karnak... I'm okay with, you know, Karnak's fine, you know, he's basically a guy who can find a weak point on any object and, um, and hit that point, so I'm okay with that, he looks fine. Uh, Gorgon, he's okay too, that's fine, I like the way they did his hooves, that's fine, he did okay with him. Um, Triton, no, I didn't like, I did not like how Triton looked, he looked cheap, and Crystal, I mean, she's fine and stuff, but even when they were showing Titan, uh, Trident and Crystal going through the forest, it just looked so, it just looked cheap. The whole story, he shot it and everything. I wasn't impressed by Atalon. Atalon, to me, should look like uh, Wakanda does in the Black Trailer, uh, um, the Black Panther trailer. That's how it should look. Futuristic and everything. I mean, this, this place is on the moon, for goodness sakes. It should be very futuristic. It looks like it's in shot in, you know, it was shot in Hawaii and it sort of looks like it, you know, and then they're, you know, the, the city and the throne room and the castle or whatever where they are, the humans and Black Bowl is, it just looks like some municipal, your, your downtown municipal building inside of it, you know, concrete and things of that nature. So, again, just very underwhelming. And on top of that, you know, how big is this is this world? Are we just going to see those seven humans, or are we going to see other humans, a big city of humans walking around? But then, you know, I have questions also about the storyline. Okay, so they, they come to Earth. I don't know if they're going to tie into Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., but who, I mean, Maximus the Mad, he's fine, they have him fighting, but what is the purpose of this? Okay, so who are they fighting? Is he fighting his brother? Does he want to bring the humans to Earth and take over or what, you know, and then if you're going to bring, and here's another problem, if you're going to bring the humans, powerful beings like that on Earth, okay, you're going to either, you got to say it's a separate universe than the Marvel Universe, it's a separate, uh, it's not part of the same universe, or if it is, then you know the Avengers will be involved with those beings down here, people like Black Bolt on that level, Iron Man, Spider-Man. Uh, the Hulk, Thor, everybody would be involved. Half the America, Hawkeye, if they land, the humans land on Earth. It would be, it would be worldwide news. So they're not, obviously not going to be in the show. So at least I don't think. Maybe they're going to surprise us. Maybe they're going to have a cameo. Who knows? I mean, that would be cool if they did that. I mean, they're going to make this into a real, you know, live and uh, in the Marvel Universe show. Maybe they'll have a cameo from. Steve Rogers or somebody, but you gotta have somebody there because you're talking about super power beings, not Shield or the Defenders, where they're lower level heroes. The humans are top notch up there with far as powers in the Earth and the universe. So, you know, I, I still don't know what they're gonna do with that. But I was very over, underwhelmed, and I really was disappointed at Disney because when I heard in humans, I'm like, okay, Disney and ABC is going to pit a T a movie in the version of a TV show. So movie quality in the version of a TV show. And I know that this is not Kevin Feige, this is Crow Mother. Crow Mother, I think his name is, I got his first name, who runs uh, Marvel Television, all the uh, Marvel TV stuff. Um, so there's not Feige behind it, but man, I tell you what, the way this looks, I don't know about you guys, and let me know what you think. I, this is, uh, this might not get out the first season. I mean, the first two episodes of IMAX better be outstanding, but I, I got to tell you, I lost a little bit of interest. I'm going to watch it, but I am not impressed with what I saw and the how it looked, and, um, you know, I hope it does well, because I think the humans got a lot of great stories, and who they're going to fight, I don't know, but you're going to have to, you know, are you going to bring the Kree into this, or are you going to bring some cosmic beings, because who, who, who are going to fight these humans, or who are they going to fight that could stand up to them? I mean, they're going to fight Maximus the Mad, I got it, but, you know... Uh, what, how far can you go with that? So, unfortunately, I'm going to give in humans, I think this is a one and done. I think that this is one season, if it makes it through the season, and it's not coming back, 
I don't think it's going to be watched very well. Maybe they're going to tie it in with S.H.I.E.L.D. and bring Ghost Rider. If they do something like that, maybe they can spice it up. But what I see now, how it looked, no. I mean, uh, it, is, it just ain't going to happen. And uh, that's just me for looking at it from this early, just looking at the trailer, judging it. But I'm sh I don't know if some of you guys feel like that, too. Have you rather over underwhelmed? I mean, I thought it was very ho-hum. So tell me your thoughts and your theories and what do you think about the Inhumans what do you think the, if you think the TV show is going to make it through a season and if it does make it through a season you think it will make it to another season the quality of it what you thought of it did you like it you know like I said Lockjaw looked good he's all CG of course and I, I didn't mind him at all but it's just I don't know I'm just I'm really got my concerns with this show and I can't wait to go see an IMAX but I'm afraid I'm going to walk out of there like man did I waste my money and time seeing this you know, I'm not watching any more episodes, but I probably will just to keep an eye on it. I mean, my goodness, I watch, uh, I watch Supergirl, I watch Arrow, I watch Flash, I watch Legend Tomorrow, I watch anything on the show, TV is superhero based somewhat. Um, but you know, the quality of it depends. Now, CW, I don't expect it to be the quality ABC. CW is a much, you know, smaller studio than Disney and ABC, so I expect the the quality to be up here, not down here. So, anyway, that's it. Thank you for joining me this week for storylines and theories. Again, send me your um, emails to readytoreactnow at gmail.com. Tell me what you think about this new and trailer, or you can even comment on this video below. Tell me what you think. Um, thank you so much. I'm the Reactor. I'll see you next time.